Hello everybody, welcome back to the last episode of Opus. Today we found Earth and we're going to be continuing this where we left off and select post ending mode. We can return to the final moments to re-experience the ending or we can go to free roaming mode and what we're going to do is going to free roaming mode for the ending only because we want to find the last bit of everything that is yet to be found, okay? And as it says, strange, Emmeth remembers being really close to the sun. What are you talking about, Emmeth? Don't forget that you still have a mission. Free roaming mode selected. I can keep us going without the pressure in free roaming mode. To re-experience the ending, simply go to the main menu and select normal mode. That's all I gotta do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, gonna pause the video here. I'm gonna click around a bunch, of, a bunch of things that are just floating around here. Get a bunch of things to unlock because as of right now, to point out what DL looks like, it, I don't have anything but, but that. This is where I last left off. And there's nothing beyond this, so I have to unlock everything else. So that's what I'm going to do first in this game. And let me hit DR just so we can see what all those 35 messages are about. That's what this is all about, that I found everything to be found in zones 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And if you look at L, I found this much star infection. As you can see, there's a bunch of unknown things remaining. And so I have to find, what I have to unlock here is that I found all the stars. I have to find two more supernovas, three more galaxies, satellites of Malkuth, which is essentially a planet, and three origins of materials. Okay, that's what I'm going to unlock here. All right, guys, so I'll be right back, folks. All right, folks, I am back, and as you can see, I've unlocked everything that I needed to unlock by basically clicking on, like, the computers and the papers and all the thumb drive that was hidden there, etc., etc. So this is the point where you can actually access that stuff. So it gives me the three galaxies, two supernovas, and three materials, and three additional satellites of Malkut. So we're going to start essentially with the easiest one, which is going to have to be the galaxies, okay? The galaxies are blue smudges, much easier to much easier to identify so this this note says lisa 10 lisa 90 so essentially i believe it's 90 degrees from lisa if i think about this right so i'm gonna have when i do this i'm gonna have a bunch of cuts here and i believe i'm still in the lisa sector as i'm looking for this so we're gonna we're gonna have to see about that yeah earth is like somewhere there so yeah we're gonna have a bunch of cuts as we search for the um objects and stuff like that so because it's not going to be the easiest thing to figure out because look at this galaxy is basically lisa 10 lisa 90 that doesn't tell me much much of anything really it looks like it's 90 degrees from lisa somewhere in the lisa system at least that's what i think but i could be completely wrong it could be out here for example in the unknown sector or the jivara sector so we're gonna have to hunt around for it i'll be right back Ah, here we are. We we are actually still in the Lisa sector. It ended up being like 270 degrees from Lisa, but whatever. So we're looking for our blue smudge. What are we looking for? We're looking for galaxies. We're actually not looking for a smudge. We're actually looking for a blur. Galaxies are blurs. So this is what we're looking for here. And this is actually a very flat galaxy, crazy, lenticular galaxy, far, far away. We're going to call this the Lion Galaxy because it's that flat. It reminds me of a 2D object. First object done. Yay. And by the way, for every one of these, it's going to be receiving planetary data. And it's not really going to update conversations or anything like that. It's just going to add to the total, total score I've got all together. So we're going to probably skip that part and move right into the next page which happens to be galaxy galaxy number two so what we're looking for here is lisa 10 tiferet 280 degrees so i don't know where this is but lisa 10 tiferet 280 degrees all right folks so i found out where this one is so i'm at the bottom literally the bottom corner here of the lisa sector and i have to kind of go up in this direction until I hit zone 2, and there I am. I finally found it. If I use this here, you can kind of see it a little bit clearer. This is what we're looking for. This is our second galaxy. This stuff actually gets pretty hard to find when you're trying to find some of these things. So, good thing I'm doing the galaxies to get out of the way, because the smudges are a little bit hard to find. I like this one. Spiral galaxy far, far, far away. I don't know what should we call this one. M51? Might as well. Right, that's what they call it. Right? M... 
Galaxy. Okay, the M51 Galaxy. It looks like the M51, so why not? Let's just go with it. We have one more Galaxy to look for, and that should reduce the headache of what I've got. Our last galaxy from Makoto's note says there might be a galaxy between the planets in F and Sigma. Okay, that's like pretty not very easy to find. F and Sigma. Okay, so that means we're looking for... See, there's T. So what we're looking for here is the F and Sigma system. There's Sigma. And... Well, that was a little bit easier than I thought. Okay. Well, we're looking for a galaxy here, so that's going to be this much thing right here. So let's go with the smudge and see what we got. And you can see how close it is to some of my other stuff I found already. Ooh, this is pretty. A two galaxies combining together. It's considered a regular galaxy. Yes, folks, the eyes on you galaxy, because it does look like a pair of eyes looking directly at you. That's what we got for that one. All right. Next up, folks, we've got a two supernovas to search for. These are blue smudges, and this is ridiculous. Oh, my gosh. This is so ridiculous. This is going to be in the top left corner, but there's no real top left corner. So we have to kind of guesstimate the top left corner. So this is going to be one of the harder ones to actually try to find. So let me get myself situated and get myself back to Lisa first. And no, no, I'm hitting the wrong button for everything. I just want to go back to Lisa. There we go. So we're going to go back to Lisa and we're going to kind of head up in the top left corner. And I don't know if I can see it with this or not, but we're looking for blue smudges. We'll be back as soon as I can find it. Oh, wait, that was that was oh, wait. That's the ring. Nova. darn it. I was going to be like, that was super easy. No, it's not. Top left corner is what we're looking for. Dome one. Lisa sector. Wait, Lisa Sector? Wait, whoa, 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 come back. Come back. Is it really in the Lisa Sector? Oh my god, well then it's, there it is, right there. That was easier than I thought. What the heck did I do? I didn't realize it was still in the Lisa Sector. Who knew? Top left corner of Lisa. Oh my god, <laughs> what a mess. What should we call this? The Methy Floor Supernova. Because it's just like, bleh. <laughs> it just goes all over the place. What can I say? All right, next supernova, our last one, is somewhere, someplace, in a little small box. Now, I think I've seen that box. I want to say it might be this little tiny box down here. Not Cerium, but like down here somewhere. We got to go a little lower. Lower. Lower, it's in the H dark sector, where at least it gives me the sector H, so it might be a minute before I can find the H sector. Okay, it took a little while to find this box. I can't really tell you exactly where this box is, but it's actually near this planet right here, the DAT system, which I figured it would be close to this little box, but this is actually where it's at, it's in between the two little boxes. So if you can find that DAT system, you'll be able to find your last system right here your last supernova right in squeezed in there so let's see what kind of supernova this looks like oh that's pretty that actually is pretty we're calling this one the ruby nebula because it, it looks really gorgeous what can i say okay we're done with galaxies we're done with supernovas now we're down to three satellites and three bits of material so we're going to do the materials next cerium r sector at 1.4 this actually makes everything so much easier and actually let's see this is going to be just for reference here there's the dark sector and there's leo and there is the Bina sector. So that, that should help you at least figure out where it's all at. I know the Cerium sector should be a little ways over to the right from the Hemis galaxy. And we should be coming up on the Cerium sector any second now. Come on, where are you, Cerium sector? Oh my god, Cer did, no, it's, you're not the Cerium sector. You must be up higher then. Go a little higher. There we go, zone two, the Full Rock sector. 
and the cerium texture should now be next to the four. There we go. Much better. Okay, we're looking for one, four. A little bit more. There we go. One, four. What are we looking for? And Retro Mao is playing Splatoon. I'm looking for a material. Material is going to be essentially this dark object right here. It's not going to be a star. So anything that's dark like this is going to be our material. What kind of material is this one? Nice. A meteorite cluster. Nothing particularly stand out. But what's that red thing right there? It's covered in red. I want to know what the red stuff is. All right, we're calling it the red asteroid meteor field. However you want to call it that. The red asteroid field. Material one, done. On to our next material. Full rock sector one, one. Yeah, good thing it's the galaxies and the other one. The galaxies and the, and the supernovas. That got it out of the way real quick. We're going to be looking for the rest of this, the planets in this of this system here. So it's going to be a little tricky to kind of find. Full rock sector, where are you? You should be like right next to the cerium sector. There we go. Finally, the full rock sector. We're looking for one, one. Here's one, three, one, two, one, one. Now we're going to be looking for our dark spot. And here we go. Similarity low. Really? There's more than one dark spot here. How many dark spots are there? There's a lot of dark spots. Okay, we're going to try this one. It's the one that's out of the way. Much Nope. Okay. Well, then it's probably this one. Oh my god, just none of these. You've got to be kidding. This hasn't happened before. Which one is it? Which one is it? I'm going to have to scan them all until I find it. Ah, finally, we got it. Finally. Oh, my God. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, my God. It's the Death Star. We found the Death Star. Yeah, you bet I'm calling it the Death Star because you got that pit that there. My goodness. It's also like Mimas. I believe that's the, the, the moon's name, Mimas, where it's got that dent in it. I don't know. Anyways, on to the next one. All right, folks, last material we're looking for is the talc sector 1-1. One, one. I should know where the talc sector is by now because I passed by it like three four times along the way. Here, cerium, cerium, talc sector. Here we go. 1-1-1-1 uh, one, 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 one is right around here, and it should be, oh, God, two different dark spots this is within the sector. Yeah, this is the right one. Perfect. Oh, there's Tiferet. What the heck, man? A large gas giant covered by a thick layer of unusually noxious gas. Wow. I was not expecting this. I really think there's some voxel level thing that's happening here because I don't remember seeing this the last time I played this. We're calling this one the Toxic Rogue because I think it's a rogue planet. I really do. That's so strange. It's a material. I was not expecting that at all. I, like, I swear, the last time I played, I got three asteroid fields in a row. I don't remember getting all the other stuff I got here. So, hey, I'll work with it. Our next target, we are finally on the last three satellites of Malkuth. And once we find this, we'll be calling it quits, of course. So, if we're going to start the first satellite, Lisa Sector 1, 2. We don't have any more data but that. Interesting. Let's just, do, let's just go to Lisa the easy way. Done. Bam. Now, 1, 2 is located a little way with... What? what? Okay, 115, 14, 13, 12, 11. There we go. 1, 2. And that should be what we're looking for. That little dot right there. Uh, yep, this is exactly what we're looking for. So this is our first planet, I believe it is. No, moon. Sorry. Nice. Okay, it's our first moon. We're calling this moon the gray matter. I keep calling it planet because I've been finding so many planets lately. Anyways, we're calling this the gray matter moon because it reminds me of kind of the brain gray matter. <laughs> I know. I'm so strange to finding the Next satellite. We're almost there. Our next satellite in the Cerium R sector 3.3. .3. Back to Cerium we go. All right. The next planet should be located right around here. And you can see that jump. So this should be our planet. What we're looking... Not planet. Moon. This should be our moon we're trying to find. Oh my god. I gotta stop using the word planet now. <laughs> I'm trying to change my words. I've been finding so many planets. Oh wow. This is nice. 
This is actually nice. Lisa 10B Malakut satellite has a high rotation speed and very thick atmosphere. This actually, if you turn your head to the right, a reasonably, I don't know, a good, mm, good, oh, not more than 90 degrees, maybe like 100, 105 degrees, 110 degrees. You can actually see a skull shape. So we're going to call this the skull moon. The skull moon works for me. I love it. And finally, our very last satellite. In case you guys want to know, even though you get 100% on this, you still technically do not change the ending. It doesn't really change the ending. It'd be kind of cool. Dark P, Dark Sector 2027. Now, this is probably the hardest one to find because I first got to find the P, Dark Sector. I found this before and I go past it. But the question is, where's P, Dark Sector? I think this is going to be the bigger one. This is Section 3, Zone 4. It's going to be a bit. Let me cut in and out until I eventually find what I'm looking for. Ah, here we are, the P Dark Sector. You can see right now it's next to Chakma. Chakma, I guess you could say. So what we're looking for is a planet that exists here. And I believe I've got a couple candidates to work with. I think, let's try this guy first. Oh, it's 2027. Maybe I should actually follow the coordinates. That might be a good idea, huh? Well, anyways, this Dark Sector is a bit small. So let's see, 20 here. And then 27 right about there-ish. My goodness, this is very touchy. 20, come on 20. Come on 20. There we go, 27. Wow, okay, this is so touchy. I, I'm on it, there we go, it's that little one right there. I think I got it, I think I got it. It's our last plant, last moon, last moon in the system. And then we're all done, we should be at 100%. I'm gonna double check, wow. This is a dust ball. It's like a piece of lint. It really does. Lint ball is what we're calling this. So as I finish typing up the lint ball name here, we're going to be double checking if we have truly have 100%. We should be at 100% at this point in this game. And that should be it for our final satellite. And how do we check if we have 100%? I will show you momentarily as soon as I get the planetary data. And we're going to press ZR to see our final count. And we have 25, 25. We should have everything listed now. There should be nothing not needed. And that covers our last of our system, 1717. We definitely are at 100% of the game. The other way we could check is right there, completion level, right down below, back to main menu, completion level 100%. All right, folks. So this is it for Opus, the day we found Earth. And I'm going to call it quits. If you liked me try helping you at least to find the various bits of things that was found, I hope I did help in some shape or form. I do think there's some sort of like level of randomness, so it won't always give you the same coordinates every single time. So I'm sorry if I can't find the exact same thing for all the last bit of stuff, but hopefully you get a rough idea. But as for me, I'm calling it quits. I got to go to bed because it's already 11 o'clock. And if you like this, please do give me a like, subscribe, um, find me on Twitter, find me on Patreon. Uh, just those various links should be down below or wherever you can find those kind of things. They should be somewhere on my channel, obviously. And I will see what I can do about making more video games, a video from other things on top of Minecraft. I'm still doing Minecraft for those of you worried that I've just done a whole bunch of this Opus project here but no i'm still doing the minecraft videos you should be still be seeing roughly like one to two minecraft videos for sure a week and then we'll see about what else i'd come up with after this one all right so thank you for watching this little mini series of one to six here all right guys we'll see you all next time thank you and have a great night and special thanks to sigono for letting me be able to record all this all right guys bye oh geez no 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 get away get away get away i saw him he, he appeared to my face. Oh my god, that was scary.